Welcome to this week's uh, Observer Review. It's coming from the addressing room of the Observer. I'm making my way through California right now. Kenneth over here is tying up uh, Adrian. Mostly the southern half of the U.S. starts in Miami, goes across the lower Midwest, California. There's some Oregon and Hawaii in there. A couple Washington. Homer, Alaska is the last one. There you go. Um, the review. This week's paper we got a story about the school board meeting last night. They hired some coaches, but not as many as they thought they're gonna. I they just stuck with the the varsity coaches, and they want to see if the varsity coaches are comfortable with the other coaches before they hire them. The photo is uh, bees, lots of bees. They landed in front of the deli the other morning. Don Thompson's called to take them away. It's really quite exciting. The crowd gathered. You don't see that sort of thing downtown Rancho too often. Teacher Jim Bauer was there at this during his lunch. He stopped for a while. At one point turned to me and said, This is just like Mayberry. He was right. Uh, I decided we got a couple letters to the editor praising the Annie Jr. play. By the way, Kenneth had three roles in that play The Light Man. And then every now and then you have to scramble down the ladder and become uh, the voice, the friendly radio voice of Burt Healy. And what was your other part? Bundles McCoy, the Laundry Man. Oh yeah, Laundry Man. That was uh, one of Annie's full escapes. We've got the usual columns this week. It's Rich Foley and me. Habitat in Fayette, uh, Fulton County, looking for a family who wants to move home. We've got to hurry here, Kenneth's going to be waiting for me. Uh, Fayette History Group is no longer in existence. Now it's called the Fayette Historical Society. I'm having a little trouble here. There we go. This addresser is rather antique looking, although it's only about 20 years old, 20, 25. It's the same design as the ones they made about 200 years ago. It worked, but they never changed it. Uh, I should look at my list here. i got to go up to number 70. What else? Um, there's more in this paper. I remember writing part of it. Oh yeah, Chief uh, Police Chief Larry Weeks wrote a little tale of some lost, well, some found eyeglasses. I guess they're not really lost because you can't find anyone who wants to claim them. Went to the schools and they weren't too excited because they always have lost eyeglasses. No big deal. They're always losing them and never claiming them. Along with clothing and bicycles. Uh, got a weather report from Mr. Isabar. Said that it was extra, extra warm last month. And a little extra wet. Update on some library stuff. There's a genealogy person coming to talk. There's masks. Mask making? I think it's mask making. I should read those. My wife will. Quiz me later. Um, got some citizens of the month. Rancy PTO. Oh, I didn't know that story got in. It's always interesting to read the paper. I wonder got, what got left out. Anyway, they need some new officers or else it's going to fold. Fun night is Friday. Another PTO event. 
Now it goes on to the usual sports, 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 sports. On the back we have a story of uh, some in Parsha bulldogs. In Parsha is a, a woodworking craft or art, whatever you want to call it. All these different species of wood is used to make the different colors. Very carefully cut, inlaid, glued together. That's it. That's enough. I gotta get back to work here. Count will be waiting for me. We'll never get out of here. See you later.